probably the worst game he's played for the Tigers. So I'll cut Robbie Farris some slack because he's been a wonderful yeah. uh, player for a long time under pressure. OK, good on you, Dale. Love Thanks, catching guys. up with you. I'll love catching up with you, guys. See you next Friday. Love you, guys. <laughs> well, you've got a kiss. <laughs> That's for you too, right. cool. We're still talking sport now. Uh, it's time to head back over to London to talk about the Olympics. Rochelle Gilmore is a Commonwealth Games gold medal cyclist and she joins us now. Rochelle, um, pretty devastating for Cadell Evans, but not entirely unexpected given how gruelling his regime has been. He's come straight off from the tour and he hit the road race overnight. Well, it was a really big ask for uh, Cadell to come out of the Tour de France and only one week or ten days later to line up in the time trial. And uh, he had his test yesterday in the road race, which was a 250-kilometre gruelling event over very tough terrain. So that was really his test, and I guess he's decided that after the Tour de France, he's quite fatigued and he doesn't think he's going to perform in the time trial. So I guess he has some really great results in his career and he doesn't need another disappointment. So as an athlete, it's hard to perform under your best and uh, never feels really good so I, I guess that's why he's decided not to line up in the time trial. Now it was an interesting race um, Rochelle we had Cavendish coming out overnight and he's been blasted with whinging um, they were really strong the, the British team for the for most of the race until maybe the last 50 k's um, and he has said the Australians just sit there and ride negatively <laughs> what's that all about? Well, they didn't win, so obviously they have to blame somebody and make a reason why they didn't win. But uh, Australia rode really well. Stuart O'Grady was in the breakaway from the first 20 kilometres, so he was in a small group. And uh, when you're in a small group of 15 guys over 250 kilometres, you really do have to do a little bit of work because you have to pull your turn on the front more than anyone else in a group of, say, 100 guys. So Stuart O'Grady put himself in the right position for Australia. He was in the break the whole day, which means he had a chance against only 15 guys to... Mm to take a medal and uh, he finished off with a sixth place which was obviously a little bit better than Mark Cavendish did so Australia uh, they did quite well I mean Stuart O'Grady should be happy and uh, he represented Australia really well so yeah it was disappointing for the Brits I guess they put a lot of effort into it and Mark yeah. Cavendish wanted to take the win but yeah. they've pointed the finger at us they've got to blame someone so they do and Cancellara had a massive stack didn't he just on that turn but I will just ask you about individual time trials men and women's coming up what are you expecting out of all of that well, we had the women's road race today, which was a 150-kilometre road race, and we had three women representing in that road race. And Shara Gillow, who's targeting the time trial, actually put herself in a really good position today. Unfortunately, with 10 kilometres to go, she had a mechanical problem and a chain fell off and got stuck. She had to stop and get off the bike. So her race was over then with 10, 10 kilometres to go. But fortunately for her, she's racing the time trial on Wednesday, and she's a really big hope for Australia. Uh, she's a bit of an outside chance for a medal, but she definitely has in the back of her mind that she can win one so we're looking forward to that and then in the men's we have Michael Rogers and he's having one of the best years of his career for a long time so we could see Michael Rogers bring home another medal for Australia in the cycling. Okay that'd be lovely thanks so much for your insight Rochelle Gilmore. No worries. It's a funny thing isn't it so much has changed in life and yet still bicycles need chains going around sprockets and they oh, still come off. You'd be That's so just... upset. Talking of upset the Warriors you know they were 18 uh, 18 nil at one point. It, it was the best How one. How do you Wendell turn that around? Said, yeah. The biggest How do you turn choke. That around? Extraordinary. <laughs> you and, and in the end what was it West in the end? Tigers. I know it was a terrible weekend. Terrible terrible weekend <laughs> sports wise. Anyway. Um, coming up next.